Question for you, is this a volcano along the, uh, sure looks like it, along the Lake Michigan shore in Door County? Well, sort of. Yeah, it kind of looks like an ice volcano. Well, these <laughs> things have been popping up at Whitefish Dunes State Park. Fox 11's Eric Peterson headed to the door today to find out more about these frozen formations. There's a rhythm on this part of Lake Michigan this time of year. The cold surf splashing against the frozen shore. But when the wind and waves combine just right... This is gorgeous. I've never seen one of these uh, volcanoes, these ice volcanoes before in my life. Richard and Gwen Calvetti traveled to Whitefish Dunes State Park for a quiet hike. We just feel really fortunate that we happen to pick now to come up here and see something like this. It's pretty amazing. Oh, here it comes. you got two waves right in a row. Coming in. Naturalist Carolyn Rock says this volcano started to form Thursday. By Friday morning, the cone was the biggest of the season. It was 10 feet tall with a blowhole two feet wide. Rock says waves crash into each other under a shelf of ice. Cracks form and water is forced up and out. And the water comes up through the hole. And as you can see behind us, it sprays all over and starts building up the, the cone-like shape of a volcano. Oh, <laughs> actually it looks like a regular volcano. And uh, just to see the, wave, the wave action with the, the waves hitting and uh, some of the spouts of water that come out of there is amazing. I know a lot of people are hoping to go see the ice caves up near Bayfield, but they could just come here and see something pretty awesome. Naturalists say volcanoes are short-lived, lasting only a few days. But they say as one cone crumbles, the rhythm of the lake will create another one to take its place. In Door County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Awesome, really cool shots in that story. If you want to go to Whitefish Dunes to check out these ice volcanoes, the park is holding winter hiking events throughout the month of February. And depending on the weather, people can snowshoe or hike every single Saturday. Guides will be on hand if you need some help, or you can just explore the area for yourself. And we have a lot more pictures of those ice volcanoes. They are so cool for you to check out as well. Just go to our website, fox11online.com. We have created a photo gallery on our homepage, and there is also extra video of an ice volcano eruption.